Vivekanand also involved in the as an advocate attorney as widely inspired not only the freedom movement but also inspired the founding father of our constitution while discussing the evolution of untouchability swami was held as a great social and spiritual reformer whose ideas transformed indian society and removed its ills the influence of law on swami ji apart from him using it at times during his talks and lectures has amazing influence the judiciary as well swami vivekanand is quoted profusely in the judgments of many indian courts notably the supreme court of india not only in religion but in everything that concern man uh, science art literature history politics it is supreme court of india and at bench justice singh was appointed as additional judge on september 22 2017 this is singh took oath as permanent judge on 6 september 2018 this is singh was transferred to delhi high court on 11th october 2021 thereafter this is singh served in various rosters at delhi high court criminal side bail matter civil side civil writ petitions in brief my lords has a bleeding heart for the poor downtrodden deprived section of india his dedication and devotion to the cause of justice is notable by way of his several judgments my lordship is committed to speedy justice during his tenure at the bar and the bench my lordship has been vocal and instrumental in ensuring wholesome justice to the to all the stakeholders of the society he is a firm believer in the famous quote if the mountain won't come to mohammed then mohammed must go to the mountain with this i will invite justice singh to please come my dear friend mr chetan sharma learned asg government of india d bharat ji mujhe dikhai nahi de rahe niche baithe hain d bharat ji jitesh ji jarvesh kumar tiwari mr veena ms veena ms sushila nanang distinguished members of the adhyaksha parishad and all the members of the legal fraternity present here ladies and gentlemen namaskar i have i came here with the draft speech in english but i saw that everybody is speaking in hindi then i will try to speak in hindi नमस्कार मैं जब इस भगवान दास रोड पे आता हूं तो मैं इमोशनल हो जाता हूं क्योंकि यहां पे हमारी जिंदगी के 23 साल 23-24 साल हमने यहां बिताए और मैं धन्यवाद देना चाहता हूं अधिवक्ता परिषद का कि उन्होंने मुझे बुलाया और इसी बहाने फिर मैं इस जगह आया मैं जब दिल्ली आया था पढ़ने के लिए तो मुझे नहीं पता था कि दिल्ली मेरी कर भूम हो जाएगी
मैंने लॉ किया यहां से इसके बाद दिल्ली हाई कोर्ट में दिल्ली बार काउंसिल में हमने अपना रजिस्ट्रेशन कराया 1994 नीरज हमारे क्लास फेलो हैं हम लोगों ने बड़ी बदमाशियां की दिल्ली हाई कोर्ट दिल्ली यूनिवर्सिटी में <laughs> तो जब 1994 में मैं दिल प्रैक्टिस शुरू किया तो मेरे घर वालों ने कहा बींग फर्स्ट जनरेशन लॉयर सबको एक डर होता है कि दिल्ली जैसी जगह में सुल्तानपुर का लड़का दिल्ली में उसी पढ़ने आया है वो कैसे स्टैब्लिश होगा मेरे एक अंकल थे उन्होंने कहा यार जिले में तो कहा चलती नहीं और तुम दिल्ली में कहा करोगे वो भी सुप्रीम कोर्ट में बट मेरा डिटर्मिनेशन था और हमने प्रैक्टिस शुरू की शुरू के सारे स्ट्रगल दिस इज नॉट ओकेजन टू शेयर बिकॉज वी आर अटेंडिंग द फंक्शन और स्वामी विवेकानंद जी के बारे में बात करनी है बट मैं एक बात कहूं कि अधिवक्ता परिषद ने ये जो ऑर्गेनाइज किया है फंक्शन स्वामी जी के उपलक्ष में इसके लिए भी इनको साधुवाद देना चाहिए स्वामी विवेकानंद जी भी वकीलों की परिवार में पैदा हुए हमारी तरफ फर्ज जनसलवार नहीं थे मैंने फर्ज जनसल नहीं थे उनके जो ग्रेट ग्रैंडफादर राम मोहन दत्ता वॉज मैनेजिंग क्लर्क एंड एसोसिएट ऑफ एन इंग्लिश सॉलिस्टर तो दैट इज दैट इज कनेक्शन इसके बाद उनके ग्रैंडफादर दुर्गा प्रसाद बिग एंड पार्टनर ऑफ हिस्स फादर प्लीज फॉर गिव मी आई विल हिंदी एंड इंग्लिश बोथ और हिंग्लिस यस इन हिज लीगल प्रोफेशन and swami ji's father was an attorney in one partnership firm to swami ji ka background legal background tha swami vivekanand also enrolled in the as a advocate attorney and entered the फर्म ऑफ वन नीमचंद्र बासु अटॉर्नी एट लॉ दैट वॉज दैट इज द बैकग्राउंड ऑफ स्वामी विवेकानंद स्वामी जी हैज वाइडली इंस्पायर्ड नॉट ओनली द फ्रीडम मूवमेंट बट ऑल्सो इंस्पायर द फाउंडिंग फादर ऑफ आवर कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन ही हैज बीन वाइडली कोटेड एज my friend said that in the constitutional debate assembly in the discussion on the resolution regarding the national flag on 2nd july 1947 the words of the swami vivekanand were invoked it was stated that quote in the words of swami vivekanand we have never dipped our hands in the neighbor's blood our embroidered cloths have never marched into the other hands for conquest and we have always been the harbingers of the peace and the makers of peace in their war torn war bearing words unquote ye swami vivekanand ji ke word quote kiye gaye on 29th november 1948 while discussing the evolution of untouchability swami ji was hailed as a great social and spiritual reformer whose ideas transformed indian society and removed its ills 
सिक्स दिसंबर 1948 एक अदर डिस्कशन में भी स्वामी जी को कोट किया गया मैं उसको क्योंकि अंग्रेजी में तो उसको मैं पढ़ देता हूं को द ग्रेट स्वामी विवेकानंद यूज टू से दैट इंडिया इज रिस्पेक्टेड एंड रिव्यू ऑल ओवर द वर्ल्ड बिकॉज ऑफ हर रिच स्पिरिचुअल हेरिटेज द वेस्टर्न वर्ल्ड इज स्ट्रॉन्ग विथ ऑल द स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ मेटलिस्टिक सिटीजन सिविलाइजेशन रिच विच द एक्विजीशन ऑफ साइंस हैविंग ए डोमिनेटिंग पोजिशन इन द वर्ल्ड इज पुअर टूडे बिकॉज ऑफ इट्स अटल लैक ऑफ स्पिरिचुअल ट्रेजर एंड हर डस इंडियन स्टेप इन इंडिया हैज टू इंपोर्ट विथ दिस रिच स्पिरिचुअल ट्रेजर दिस मैसेज ऑफ हर्स टू द वेस्ट If we are do that, if we are to educate the world, if we are to remove the doubts and misconceptions and the growing ignorance and prevails in the words about India's culture and heritage, this right must be inherent. The right to profess and propagate her religious faith must be conceded. Unquote. <coughs> During the third reading of the draft constitution on 19 November 1949, H. B. Kamat invoked Swami Ji often. At one instance, he said, "Quote: Swami Vivekananda exhorted India to rise and chanted the Vedic mantra, that is, Uthista." जागृता प्राप्य वर्णा निबोधता दीज आर दर्ड्स अवेक अराइज एंड स्टॉप नॉट टेल द गोल इज रिसीव्ड वी हैव रीच आवर गोल एट वी हैव गॉट टू रीच ए हायर गोल एंड लेट अस एड्रेस आवर सेल्फ टू दैट टास्क एंड बेंट our energies to the attainment of that goal so that in the ancient land of ours the common man after all the constitution is only for the good of the common man that in its touch stone the ordinary man may have his life and have his more abundantly unquote he further stated true to the indian genius our struggle our awakening began with the spiritual resistance which was pioneered by the ramakrishna pramahans swami vivekananda and swami dayanand in the wake of those spiritual leaders came the potential resistance and the cultural resistance of which the touch bearers the leaders the guides were लोकमान्य तिलक अरविंदो एंड महात्मा गांधी एंड लास्ट हैड नॉट द लीस्ट नेताजी सुभाष चंद्र बोस स्वामी जी एज अर्लियर सेड ऑल्सो स्वामी जी ऑलवेज कोटेड इन द constituent assembly debate and since the influence of law on swami ji apart from him using it at times during his talks and lectures has amazing influence the judiciary as well swami vivekanand is quoted professly in the judgments of many indian courts notably the supreme court of india i referred few judgments where the swami ji was quoted justice indu malhotra in her dissenting opinion in the sabarmala case observed that in the case of temple entry court in the case of temple entry social reform preceded 
the statutory reform and not the other way about. The social reform was subheaded by the great religious as well as national leaders like Swami Vivekananda and Mahatma Gandhi. The reforms were based upon social morality much before constitutional morality came into place. Unquote. In the case of legality of national curriculum, framework for school education, the Honorable Supreme Court lauded that Gurukula system of education and quoted Swamiji in the following words, quote, education is not the amount of information that is put in your brain and runs right there undigested all your life. We must have life building, man making, character making, assimilation of ideas, if education is identical with information, libraries are the greatest stage of the world and encyclopedias are rights. In other case, stressing the quality of education needed the quote quoted Swamiji. I am quoting the Swamiji in the Supreme Court in the every, I think mostly judgment where the social reforms, education reforms, Swamiji always quoted. Swamiji is so relevant for this country at this time. The Honorable Supreme Court quoted that, quote, we want that education by which character is formed, is strength of mind is increased, the intellect is expanded, and by which one can stand on one's own feet. The end of all education, all training should be man-making. The end and the aim of all training is to make the man grow. The training by which the current and expression of will are brought under control and become fulfilled is called education." Unquote. Talking about <clears throat> enlightened citizenship, in the course of the judgment in the court invoked Swamiji as under. Quote, the problem of life is becoming deeper and broader every day as the world moves on. The watchword and the essence have been preached in the days of yours when the Vedic truth was first discovered. The solidity of our life, one atom in the universe cannot move without dragging the whole world along with it. There cannot be any progress without the whole world following in the way. And it is becoming every day clear that solution of any problem can never be attained on racial or national or narrow grounds. Every idea has to become broad till it covers the whole of this world. Every expression must go on increasing till it has engulfed and whole of unity may the whole of life within its scope. This will explain why our country for the last two centuries was not been what she was in the past. We find that one of the course which led to this degeneration was the narrowing our own views, narrowing the scope of our actions, unquote. In the case of the famous case of the Supreme Court, in the demolition of the Babri Masjid in Ayodhya, the court relied on Swamiji. Defini definition of the religion and the stated as under. Swami Vivekananda said, religion is not a doctrine in dogmas 
or in intellectual argumentation it is being and becoming it is realization unquote while explaining hinduism and its practice in a case against the state of andhra pradesh the honorable supreme court observed court swami vivekanand had stated that each soul is potentially divine the goal is to manifest this divinity within by controlling nature external and internal do this either by work or worship or physical control or philosophy by one or more or all of these and be free this is the whole of reason doctrines of dogmas or rituals or books or temples or forms are but sec secondary details unquote in case of relating to the petition of for feature of the books on the grounds that it may hurt the feeling of hindus the court opinion court what offends a primitive people may be laughable for progressive communities what is outrageous here say for one religion or sect or country or time may be untouchably holy for another some primitive people may still be outraged by the admonition of swami vivekanand quote our religion is in the kitchen our religion is in the kitchen our god is in cooking pot and our religion is don't touch me i am holy anko in the several cases the swami vivekanand was quoted by the honorable supreme court and other courts while deciding the important cases swami vivekanand was interested not only in religion but in everything that concerned man uh, science art literature history politics it is he gave much thought to alleviating india's problems such as poverty illiteracy casteism exploitation and so on his luminous mind found solutions that are as valid today as they were more than a century ago on 14th february 1897 swami exhorted india's for the next 50 years this alone shall be one our keynote this our great mother india his utterance proved to be prophetic 50 years later india become free today he is guiding us as a voice without a form with his mantra of be and make for the nation to prosper the executive parliament and judiciary should function smoothly and in the interest of the nation our constitution is leading document and has stood the test of the time any time frame <laughs> no no <laughs> our constitution is leading document that has stood the test of the time coming to the recourse of the citizens routinely as well as in the trying times the constitutional courts by way of their interpretations and the members of the legal fraternity have helped ensure that 
the letter and the spirit of the provisions are brought into effect in the best interest of the city citizenry and the society at large we as a nation have made marvelous steps in our journey in the various areas our pacing rapidly towards achieving our position as a vishwa guru however there are several areas where a lot of work remains to be undertaken as a people centric welfare state the indian democracy needs to follow the chanakya dictum praja sukhe sukham ragya prajam tu hite hita meaning thereby in the well being of the people lies in the welfare of the state and the happiness of the people is the prosperity of the state the indian polity must remain rooted in the fundamental doctrine and work for increasing ease of living and manifesting the aspirations and capabilities of the indian population the motto of now the i i want to say something about avyakta parishad also because you people invited me then i the motto of avyakta parishad i am told i know that <laughs> is nyaya mam dharma meaning thereby justice is my dharm ensuring justice to the last person in the society is the motto of the organization and avyakta parishad as, as told by the earlier speakers that aiming to touch every person in the society and ensuring that justice is served to the needy therefore you all are doing a great job for delivering the justice to the poor and unprivileged of the society i will share one incident when i was sitting the rich roaster every day i saw the poor students filing the red petition in the court and seeking their fundamental rights for getting admission in the class 1 under the rt one day i saw the 2025 matters listed i was totally upset that the right of education the legislator had enacted the right of education for the poor people and giving the 25% at seat for the all public schools they are admittedly constructed on the public land which has been donated or given by the government on the discounted rate they are refusing to get the get the students take the students in the school then i saw and the government under the act government has power to take a action against those schools but government is also not taking that any action grids are filing the kids who is the son or daughter of the rickshaw puller 
are a small shopkeeper. If coming high courts engaging the councils like you people, giving the fees, are not giving the fees if the the legal aid matters also, but is pursuing the matter for the admission of the poor people, and the school are not giving the admission. It is very alarming situation in this country. Then I pass the order and judgment in that no school can say no to get the admission. If a school has any problem, the school come and file the writ, not a student. So, that is the fundamental right of the poor people. So, I request the Adhyakta Prashad also to do the sub work among the poor people, poor citizen, because they are the future of our country. I am told that my time is up. <laughs> Therefore, <laughs> I am giving the again thanks to the Adhyakta Parishad and uh, organizer of the Adhyakta Parishad. Thank you very much.